this is a beautiful place to live in. Now we need to feel it with children. Be careful. This place will eat you alive. You're under arrest. Even the Pope cannot protect you from what may come. You have to learn to face your fears. Who the hell do you think you are? I am a woman. And I am Italian. We are all the same. All human beings. Children of God. I believe I am being threatened by a nun. The world is not big enough for what I intend to do. That's a direct quote from Mother Cabrini. I just got out of the theater and I absolutely loved the movie. This is an Angel Studios film and it's beautiful to look at. I saw a lot of rich, deep, brown gold, sepia tones that just felt like old world New York. And Mother Cabrini is an immigrant herself as she comes from Lombardy, Italy to the United States, lands at Ellis Island, goes through immigration into Five Points, New York, where she is supposed to be greeted by the Archbishop of New York, but he doesn't pick her and her fellow sisters up. And they begin to make their way through Five Points and discover that their need there is tremendous. And it's more than she could have imagined when she lived in Italy. Mother Cabrini had a heart for the downtrodden, the poor, and she originally had planned to create orphanages in the East. But the only way the Pope would approve the plan is if she went West first. So here in the United States, it's our lucky day that Mother Cabrini got sent here because she transformed how immigrants came and were received, especially Italian immigrants and immigrant children of Italians. So Mother Cabrini, when she says the words, the world is not big enough for what I intend to do. She really respected and took action. And those actions, even though doors were closed in her face, people told her no, she kept going. And I felt like that's a now word for today. Now, a little bit more about the film. This is an Angel Studios production. This is written and directed by Alejandro Monteverde, and you may recognize that name from Sound of Freedom. If you want to pay it forward on this film, just like Sound of Freedom, you can go to the website angel.com forward slash tickets forward slash Cabrini and go ahead and pay it forward for somebody who may not be able to buy a ticket to the theater. And this is truly a film that I think streaming it would be okay, but seeing it on the big screen, hearing that sweeping soundtrack on the big screen, it was an amazing time. And I took my family and they didn't know about the film and they loved it. So a little bit more about the film. Right now, that weekend box office is looking at about $2.8 million on 2,800 screens. Okay, so when you see Kung Fu Panda coming in top of the box office, it's on over 4,000 screens. So I also think that Arthur the King would be a great family film to see, but it's only on 3,000 screens. So sometimes when you see that box office number, look at the fine details because I don't see enough marketing happening for Arthur the King. Bing, that stars Mark Wahlberg. It's also based on a true story, and I think it's also worth your time. I personally haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to. Let's get back to Mother Cabrini. Since it released on the International Women's Day at the beginning of March, it's done over $13 million. I couldn't find details on what the actual budget was, though it's a safe bet as an independent, it's going to be in the lower realms. Low. Nowadays, low budget films are $20 million. Studio films are $200 million. When the Oscar was awarded and he said from American fiction, we need more $20 million films with great story and less 200 million films. I was like, high five my brother, because I am saying the same thing. Mother Cabrini is a powerful story, one of overcoming, one of persevering. Ooh, and in some cases, one of loving your enemy, turning the other cheek. The mayor of New York does not like her, will not help her. And it wasn't proven fact, but tried to burn her hospital down. The very hospital that 
housed and fed and clothed and ministered medical needs to so many immigrants that needed it. Okay, let's get into a little bit more. The official tagline, after witnessing disease and poverty in the slums of New York, Italian immigrant Francesca Cabrini began her orphanage and her hospital. The cast, it is Christiana Del Ana. She's new to me and she was a powerful force to be reckoned with. She plays such a strong but tender. She's a nun, though she was not demure and submissive. She was respectful and obedient while also fighting for what her values were, caring for the poor. Now, Christiana Del Ana did a beautiful job. And if you only go to see her performance, I think you'll be well rewarded. John Lithgow plays the mayor of New York and he's an unlikable character, but I like him as I like him as an actor. So he adds to the film that was David Morse as Archbishop Corrigan. And David Morse, he'll look familiar because you'll know him from The Green Mile. Writer-director was Alejandro Monteverdi. And fact about Cabrini, she is the first United States canonized as a saint with the Catholic Church. She started in New York, but didn't stop there. It spread throughout the world just like she wanted. So she went New York, she went Philadelphia, Chicago. It just spread. Her continuation and devotion to helping people, it was contagious in a way. And speaking of contagious, she had tuberculosis and she was given five years to live at best, but she went on to live to 67. Now she was understood the power of action. I just want to leave you with that because the power of action, I think right now we are ending the first quarter of 2024. I know you, like me, we have goal boards, we have action items, we have things that we want to be doing, seeing, getting fruition and traction on. Though, if we take a page from Mother Cabrini, she did monumental work when English was her second language. She spoke Italian first. When you're watching the film, I loved hearing the dialogue in Italian and having subtitles. And she said a powerful thing. In her orphanage, she was teaching. There's teaching going on for the students, the kids there that she had rescued from the streets of New York in Five Points. And I was curious, does Five Points still exist? Let me know in the comments. Mother Caprini says, she was taking a New York Times reporter through her orphanage so that he could write a story about what they're doing there to get support. And Mother Cabrini says, we sing in Italian to remember our roots, but we speak English in America. Wow, it was just really beautiful. And I feel like that's a powerful way to explain to new immigrants here, like keep your, your homeland in your heart and keep your cultures and traditions though it's so important to embrace the american way to embrace america to be a true immigrant mother cabrini is the film for our time that we need right now i highly encourage you to see it remember right here if you need a free ticket to see it don't miss it in the theater because you're like i just don't have 20 bucks for a ticket Somebody has already paid it forward for you to the tune of $2 million. Pay it forward. Tickets have been purchased. Angel.com forward slash tickets forward slash Cabrini. Bing! Use the link in our descriptions. I really hope you get out to see this. Enjoy hearing that beautiful Italian language. Enjoy the soundtrack. It is sweeping and it fits the images. And this was one of the films that if they never spoke a word, and all we saw was the image and heard the music, you'd know what was going on. Mother Cabrini touched a lot of lives, transformed lives, changed lives for the better, and then spread that message. Take it with you, jot it down right now. The famous quote and words of Mother Cabrini is, the world is not big enough for what I intend to do. So I ask you, in your world, what you're planning, your heart's desires, your dreams and goals, what is it that you can do that you would say like Mother Cabrini? The world is not big enough in sports, business, homeschooling, teaching for what I intend to do. If it was me, I would say the world is not big enough in entertainment for what I intend to do. I loved Mother Cabrini. I think you're going to love it too. 
This film is safe for the whole family. Forgive me, I didn't see what it was rated, but I think it's rated PG. There are a few fight scenes, a gunshot scene, and a stabbing scene, though it's done muted and tastefully. So if you have young children with you, and I think you're five, six, seven year old, this is a two hour movie, I think they'd still enjoy it. Go see it. Let me know in the comments when you do, how you love and enjoy it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.